My name is Mike Stevenson with Omron Industrial Automation. I'm going to show you how convenient it is using data structures in CX1 version 4. Data structures simplify programming and add an additional level of organization to your PLC programs. Here's a common method of assigning symbol names to three motors on a mixing tank. This is okay, but how convenient is it to create and modify symbols for every attribute of each motor? To add additional motors or to add an additional attribute to all motors can be time consuming since each motor and attribute would have to be entered separately. Data structures make it really easy to expand or modify the quantities or attributes. It's now possible for the user to create custom data types as shown here in the data types table. The motor data type consists of a structure name called motor and six structure members. We can now use this motor data structure to create symbols in the symbol table. To create a new symbol, select Symbols from the Project Tree, click Insert, Symbol. Next, we need to enter a name for our new symbol. I'm going to call this Tank Motor. In the Data Types drop-down box, select Motor as listed in the Data Types table. Now we need to assign an address. And since we have three motors, we need to click Advanced Settings and check Array Symbol with a size of 3 for three motors. Next, select OK. In the future, if we ever need to add a motor to our system, all we need to do is increase the motor array count, which is very simple. By double-clicking the symbol name, Tank Motor, selecting Advanced Settings, and inserting 4 in the array size. We now have a fourth motor that includes all of the attributes of the original three. If we want to add an attribute to our motors, all we need to do is go back to the data types table, select the data structure called motor, right click, insert, member. I'm going to call this load percent. I'm going to set the data type as an integer. Also notice that each member of a data structure can have its own array size if needed. We just created a new member for our motor data structure called load percent, and now all four motors contain this load percent member. And now I'm going to show you how to use your new data structure in Ladder. I'm going to insert a new contact here. To assign a member to this contact, simply type in the symbol name, which was tank motor, open bracket, an array index, which I'm going to choose zero, close bracket, dot, and then the member name, which I'm going to use push button on. As you can see, using data structures in CX Programmer is very easy. Using data structures adds an element of organization and flexibility to your ladder, SFC, or structured text programs. Thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial. I hope it was beneficial.